This workshop is primarily designed to engage Nigeria's coastal states and local government areas, as well as the traditional rulers, in effective border governance in Nigeria. It is a follow-up to the workshop on the African Union Integrated Border Governance and the median workshop that established a national consultative forum for constructive engagement, collaboration, and effective coordination of border policies and programs in Nigeria. The workshop focused on promoting peace, security, and economic prosperity of the border regions. This workshop couldn't have come at a better time owing to the rising challenges of insecurity along our borders and the desire for economic cooperation and integration across the borders of the African continent. The boundaries of nations are very key to the populace as they detect the conduct of economic, social and political activities along these borders lines. Borders are perceived as a representation of the people, culture, belief and values. Borders in Africa are a product of European. It is my earnest expectation that deliberations at this forum will lead to enhanced boundary protection and management in our country. The theme for today's meeting to a secure peaceful and prosperous borders it is very apt and timely. Boundary distance is an ancient and modern disease of, our, of humanity. Right from the colonial days, Nigeria has been plagued by boundary distance, which has been disastrous and destabilizing. There is scarcely any state in Nigeria has not been involved in boundary disputes with its neighbors, often resulting in displacement, death, and destruction. Reports indicate that between January 2018 and August 2022, a total of 276 persons were killed in various communal and boundary clashes in Nigeria. Often the causes of these disputes are traceable to, to land ownership, community pride, ancient or colonial boundary, and social cultural factors. In Delta State, it is safe to say that at least 80% of boundary districts revolve around land use either for farming, mining, and other purposes of economic significance. The European colonizers drew these borders arbitrarily without due regard to ethnic homogeneity of many African groups who were forced to belong to different nations. In the same vein, the diverse heterogeneous community were hurriedly bundled into a single nation with distinct boundaries. This haphazard boundary creation has left in its wake multiple crises resulting from feeling of alienation from the central authority which are far from them, giving rise to a deep sense of revolt against governments. This unchecked distance creates a vacuum which in turn lure people into various crimes that include but not limited to piracy, armed banditry, human trafficking, terrorism, drugs and smuggling of so small and light arms. These days, there have been increased banditry all over our nation. Terrorism and outright challenge to national governments is what we see today. It is therefore a welcome development that the African Union border governance strategy is looking to good border governance and the attainment.
fundamental sustainable development. If that with the available, which would be the Coast Guard, they will be able to gather intelligence and then give feedback to the Navy who can now go in for kin with kinetic or non-kinetic measures to ensure that the borders are protected. And again, I have also said that we must dismantle these artificial borders created for us by the colonial masters because we are the ones that recognize those borders. If we don't recognize them, they, remain, they cease to exist. Like in Europe, those borders are there but nobody recognizes them. And so once we allow that free flow of the lines, and it, that will blow off naturally. And then the last one is to make sure that there is these coastal communities are better uh, supported in terms of infrastructure and other resources so that they have a sense of belonging. Because he who feed the dogs is the dog's master, not he who buy the dogs. Uh, there's a need for the stability of the platform for deputy governors to chairman of set boundary committees along Nigeria's coastal states. Uh, there's a need for the selection of chairman of local border platforms in each of the border states as well as the chairman of the local border authorities for the entire Nigeria's coastal for effective coordination. There is need for new plan for the platforms in each of the states to have an integrated membership that comprises chairman of border local governments, traditional rulers, representatives of the various security agencies, uh, and the youth, the youth and women leaders in the border areas. Uh, there is need for the chairman, uh, for the chairman for the traditional rulers and so generals because engagement of traditional rulers is very key in this uh, business. There is need for hosting this workshop by annually to review the progress of the platform and uh, report back to the National Consultative Forum for chairman of state boundary committees of Nigeria's border state, which His Excellency the Deputy Governor of. Uh, uh, Bias, I was making reference to 2020, uh, established in 2022. The platform should strategize on ways of enhancing border security and combating cross border challenges to prevent illicit activities along the maritime borders. The workshop called for the need to enhance security and development of the coastal communities in line with the Petroleum Industry Act. The workshop called on the National Army Commission to fast track the resolution border disputes for peaceful coexistence and good neighborliness. And the National Boundary Commission will serve as a coordinated secretariat for all the platforms.